Hey everybody, I'm back with another video on my seed collection. I want to show you what I've collected thus far for the 2014 growing season. Some of these are uh, heirloom, some are organic, others are bought like your typical seed packets and uh, some were got at the grocery store, some were got from friends and uh, so I'm going to go through <clears throat> every single seed that I have I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you where I got it and uh, give you as much information about each one as I can. And, uh, and then over the course of 2014, uh, we'll be, you'll be able to see all of these in action. I also have some of these growing behind me. Uh, I did a, a viability check, so I'll be referencing uh, those uh, in this video as well. All right, so let's get to it. So the first thing is that... Uh, the bulk of every, everything's being stored inside of here, and uh, um, I have sub-containers inside of here. And metal is the best, in my opinion, because animals can't chew through, chew through it. Uh, but it can, uh, if it's in a damp situation, it could rust, and obviously you don't want to store your seeds in a moist environment. But anyway, so this will keep the, uh, the, the rodents from chewing through it, because uh, plastic is fine, but... And mice could chew through that if they if they uh, got a hint that there was any seeds in there. So there's a couple of options as far as storing seeds. Um, and I also uh, have some, you know some uh, uh, oatmeal containers that I'm storing some seeds in. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, just start right here with this one. And <clears throat> I can't remember exactly, it's been a while since I had these open, so I can't remember exactly what's in all of them. So uh, It's kind of like Christmas when you haven't seen your seeds in a while. Just open them up and see what you got. And, uh, and so they're stored in different fashions to a different manner. So you'll see, this one here, I just have the, uh, the paper towels bunched up, and this is how I dried them. Uh, I did a video on these. These are tomatoes. These are heirloom tomatoes that I picked up at Kroger's. And uh, I've got, uh, this, was, this is a striped, and I, I kind of wrote on the napkin, or on the paper towel, what they were. Um, but I've got anything from, uh, from, from red to yellow to uh, striped um, and, uh, and such. So I've got six varieties of heirloom tomatoes right here. <clears throat> okay. Those are all picked up at the Kroger store for approximately uh, $2.99 a pound. And I showed this in, a, um, in my last video, but there I just want to show you. i got six varieties there, and then I've got, I've got nine new heirloom varieties to uh, extract the seeds from uh, and add to that collection. So I'm doing great on heirloom tomatoes. Plus, I've got other heirloom tomatoes in here that I picked up from, uh, from some friends. Okay, so uh, on with the uh, with the seeds. We've got some pinto beans here, and I have pinto beans and lima beans and black-eyed peas, and these are all bought at the grocery store. You go to the dried bean aisle, and uh, um, there's different varieties there. And I have where is it? Oh, it's right here. I have probably 15 pounds of different types of, of beans. And uh, we've got anything from pinto beans and black beans and small red beans and lentils and black-eyed peas, uh, uh, kidney beans, and more, I, now this is the more black-eyed peas and butter beans and navy beans and dark red and light red kidney beans and pink beans and Navy beans, and now I have some also, some barley. When I bought it, I just seen it, and I hadn't seen it before, so I grabbed it. But it's pearled barley. I I Googled it, and pearled basically means that uh, um, it's non-viable. Uh, it's been treated in the, I'm uh, uh, not sure what the name of the thing, but the little growth part is, has uh, been removed. So it, it's not a viable seed, but um, I'm going to use that in a super stew. Um, and then we got garbanzo beans and some other types of stuff in there. So 
um, got lots and lots of beans. So with that many beans and peas, I'm going to have to uh, get myself a pea sheller because I am not going to do it by hand. I'll rip my thumbs apart messing with all that. Okay, so there's some pinto beans, and the reason they're, they're in the, the Ziploc bag is because I had bought a 16 bean soup kit or uh, uh, bag at the store, and uh, um, I separated out all the seeds, and and uh, that was a daunting task, but got 16 varieties out of it. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, lots of seeds in here. Another metal container. Uh, these I picked these up at Sherwin-Williams. You can pick them up at the paint store. Uh, you might be able to pick them up at the big box store too, I'm not sure. But, okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and start with what's in here. And i got to find something to put them all in. Okay, here we go. Bear with me. I'll just throw them all in there so they're not all over the place. Okay, so um, first off, these little packets that I made. I have this, uh, it's not a seal and meal, but it's, it's something like that. It's, it's a little uh, um, device that has a roll of plastic on it, and it's sealed on both sides. And you pull it out and push it down, it seals it and vacuums some of the air out of it. So it's not, uh, it's not a vacuum sealer, um, but it does seal up pretty good, and, and I use it uh, for this purpose here. But anyway, we got uh, radishes. Uh, these are cherry bell radishes. I got these from Southern States, and I got them. Uh, these were, I, I wrote the date that they were grown on the bottom corner versus the date that they were packaged for so that I knew exactly uh, the year that they were were, uh, were grown. So uh, these were 2012 packaged for 2013. So um, <clears throat> these were last year's. Now I didn't, I didn't use them all, so I've got some left over for this year. Obviously we know seeds are good for more than one year. So there's that. I got some gala apple seeds from Walmart. I just said, you know what, there's seeds in there, I'm going to pull them out and see what they do. I've got large green bell type pepper. Uh, this is real long, this is but real long and very mild. So some of them I didn't know the names of them. And again, after I get them grown, and uh, I'll do some research to see if I can't identify them for sure. Um, I, I got this at, uh, at the grocery store, picked it up, and this is 2013. Radishes, Scarlet Globe, got them from Southern States. I also wrote on there 22 days, if I, if I had, whatever information, when you're doing your seeds, what in, whatever, the information that you can find about that seed, write it on the package, because you will forget by the next year. Large, huge, bell pepper, got it from... Kenny Vyer, check his station out, KVUSMC on YouTube. He does a lot of good videos on uh, a lot of sustainable stuff and cooking and hunting and, and vegetables and solar and wind and kind of kind of the same stuff I do, but uh, he's got his take on it. So anyway, this was a huge pepper. It was, like I said, the thing was about that long. It was like a bell pepper at the top, but it was really long, and it was just chucked full of some really big seeds. So excited to grow that one. Um, Virginia State Fair, four to five foot sorghum. I don't know anything more than that, but uh, um, I got some seeds from that. I think this particular variety was mainly grown for silage uh, or uh, grain feed um, versus uh, the sorghum you would grow for um, like uh, molasses or any type of uh, syrups or things like that. Okra. Got it from the feed store. Um, this was this is uh, this seed was grown in 2011, but it's been well taken care of and should be viable for planting in 2014. I will probably not keep them any longer than that because uh, um, I just want to make sure I don't waste anything. So they're going to get planted. I've got some okra jade. These were bought from uh, from a seed, this were seed pack fairy. Very more so. Uh, Ochre Jade, 2011. Okay, this is a new try. Um, strawberry seeds. Uh, if you ever ate strawberries, you, you can you know there's strawberry seeds all over the outside of it. So what I did is I took uh, 
uh, a, a couple of the last strawberries that were left in the pack that my daughter didn't eat, and I just scraped the seeds off. I dried them out, and and there they are. So I'm going to see if I can get them to grow. I don't know if they will or not, but it's worth a shot. Cherry tight and somewhat translucent. Skin is orange, medium hot, uh, packs a punch. Okay, these are peppers that are just like I described. They're small, cherry tight, um, somewhat translucent. The skin was orange and, and, and veiny. You could kind of see through it. Uh, medium hot packs of punch. So these are some little peppers like that. Again, I don't know the names of them. <coughs> uh, pepper, light green bell type, but hot, mild and good. 2013. What do we got here? Large big boy type tomato from Walmart. This would be your typical slicing tomato for like, uh, you know, you, you see the for your hamburgers and something. So again, uh, we had bought a couple tomatoes. I've got a couple of these. This is not the only one. I've got a couple. Um, every time there was a little bit left over, I went ahead and uh, saved the seeds. So I have now, since then, a ton of heirloom variety. I may not even need those, but I just want to see if they are, um, see how they do. This is a pepper, mild, long, green, and good, I wrote. So I tasted each one of these as I was putting them together, so I knew if it was, you know, hot or mild or what it was. But nice amount of seed out of one pepper. So are these all the peppers that you see, they're all organic, by the way. Okay, big boy type tomatoes, another another one. There's uh, so there's lots of those in there. <clears throat> Okay, this is a Hungarian wax pepper. Mild and hot and awesome. Hungarian wax. So that one I knew the name of it when I uh, when I put it in there. Radish Champion. Fairy Morse. And that is um, 2011. So more cherry tomatoes. <coughs> Swiss chard. Lacullus... Lacollis, I think it's the name. This is the one I could never pronounce the name if you watch my past videos. And the past videos actually have these growing. You can see how well these do, but the Swiss chard did great. It says 55 days to, to maturity. And as a matter of fact, <coughs> it's middle of January and they're still out there growing. So um, that was uh, 2012. Pardon me, i got to take a drink. We're not even halfway through the, this container yet. Orange, little sweet bell peppers. These things are about yay big around and there they are. Orange, little sweets. 2013. <coughs> uh, spinach, Bloomdale long standing. And uh, these, this, these, the southern states seeds, I'm not sure. Um, uh, I, I think some of them are hybrids, uh, but uh, anyway, this one's got it uh, at Southern States, and uh, it's a good spinach. Uh, it's still growing out there. Kale, dwarf, blue, curled, scotch. Got it at Southern States, and this is some awesome, awesome kale. I can't wait to get this in the ground again. And this has got to be, out of everything that I grew for 2013, this has got to be the most winter hardy thing that I've planted, because it is still flourishing out there. And it's seen some pretty cold temperatures. Uh, we got down to 8 degrees and 10 degrees a couple nights in a row. And it's still out there growing. So I, it, this stuff is amazing. Uh, you want a you wanna super, super green to grow? Grow kale. <coughs> okay, these are some leftover. I got some bush green beans. These are Blue Lake and Fairy Morse 2012. This is uh, left over from what I, I didn't plant uh, from last year. And uh, it produced an awful lot of green beans. Good green beans, too. So, got enough to plant again this year. And those are leftovers. I didn't save the seeds. Those are just leftovers. So, when I'm out of those seeds, I will not buy any more. I will be getting the uh, organic and heirloom varieties. Uh, we have light green bell type pepper. Uh, and it says, but long and mild, uh, but slightly hot. Okay, so uh, again, there's another there's another mild pepper. 
cherry type, and I, I put varicose on here because uh, it was really weird. You could see like the veins running through the uh, through the uh, uh, underneath the skin, so the skins were translucent, and you could see the veins running through there. Uh, and this is a little hot pepper. It says uh, packs a punch. It's it's medium pepper. It's not uh, <coughs> it's not hot pepper, but uh, let's see here. Pepper green, long, skinny. Uh, maybe cayenne, I can't read what it says there, but, uh, uh, hot to mild hot. Um, and, uh, that was like, that was picked up this year, so there's plenty of seeds there. Okra. Okra Gold Coast, Baker Creek, uh, Seed Company, or rareseeds.com. Uh, I won these seeds from John Kohler's website. Or John Kohler's video channel, GrowingYourGreens.com. He had a seed giveaway, and I I got uh, a package of okra from him. So uh, thank you, John. Appreciate it. Thumbs up. Um, and uh, look forward to getting those in the ground. These are these are heirloom variety. <coughs> Sorry about the coffin. Long, super thin, green, and curved, mild peppers. The seeds are a little brown around the outside edge. I don't know how viable these are going to be, but uh, we'll see. We'll know come this uh, spring because I'm going to get them. I'm going to get tons of things started. Okay, beef master tomatoes. I got these from a uh, buddy Freeman. He's a farmer. He's been growing these variety for years. Uh, got these in 2013, and I've got. He said one plant fed his entire family with all the tomatoes they needed all summer long. And I ain't kidding you, I seen the tomatoes. One of the last ones just left over from the vine that he was saving seeds from. That tomato was that big. I did a video, previous video, you can go back and look at it, that uh, I'm doing, I'm, I'm collecting the seeds from that tomato and this is the, this is the seeds from it. So I can't wait to get these in the ground. Awesome heirloom variety. So. Now that gives me 16 heirloom tomatoes <coughs> so far, and that's the uh, that's uh, that's the beef master. So look up beef master. They're not very common. Most mostly you hear the um, um, beef steak, but that's a beef master. Okay, I've got some watermelon. These are also heirloom variety. Got these from Freeman as well. Um, old farmer down south of me here and uh, he's been growing these for years um, I can't wait to get those heirloom tomato or heirloom uh, watermelon cantaloupe melon heirloom variety as well got these from Freeman green bell peppers these are organic or excuse me heirloom green bell peppers got these from Freeman Let's see what we got here. Strawberry pepper. Mild, red, and superb, I put. So that must be a really good one. And the seeds look excellent. Seeds look excellent. Uh, cantaloupe melon. Okay, this is one of those uh, cantaloupe you get from Walmart, and there's the seeds. So let's see what happens out of that. Okay. Cantaloupe. These are really old. These are uh, these are some that were uh, that were stored years ago, and they've been then around. But you see the discoloration. I'm gonna bet you that these are probably no good, but I didn't want to throw them out, so there they are. I'll test them out later. Jalapeno peppers. Whole bunch of seeds of those. Also, you know, just to let you guys know, in the middle of this, that I am going to be doing a seed giveaway next year. I'm not going to give away any of these seeds. I want to go ahead and run them through their cycle and then make sure they're a, a decent plant and we'll do a we'll do a seed giveaway. Long green pepper. Good. Mild hot. Sorry I don't know the names of a lot of these but I'll, I'll, I'll know before the seed giveaway. Lots of good seeds there. This is a Thai pepper. Oh. Man, these things had a ton of seeds in them. Uh, I only had like three of them, but look how many seeds I got out of three little peppers. And those, man, those will, those will burn a hole in your tongue. 
Watermelon. These are sugar babies. These are uh, from Fairy Morris. <clears throat> yellow Little Sweets. Remember I did the orange Little Sweets earlier. Now we got some yellow ones. Hot Peppers. Okay, these are from Freeman. These are an heirloom variety. And you can also check and see what these look like. I did a video. I had them all strung up and hanging up. And uh, I, was, uh, I was drying them out, but didn't think they were going to dry more rot so I went ahead and uh, I cut them and I put the meat in the fridge or the freezer and uh, dried the seeds so I'd, uh, I I have tons of hot peppers I will never ever eat that many hot peppers in my life but I've got the seeds and uh, I got some to share so long red little sweet long red little sweet peppers Uh, pomegranate. I'm going to try to grow some pomegranate. It's not going to grow outside, I don't think, very well, but I can try to do a dwarf pomegranate in the house. Small Roma tomatoes. These were the sweetest little tomatoes. I got these from Kenny Vire. Again, check out his channel, KVUSMC. Um, these were really good little tomatoes. <clears throat> hey, Kenny, if you see this video, I forgot to ask you where you got them from, so leave me a comment down below and uh, tell me where you got these seeds at. Uh, it's nice to know where the seeds, uh, what their origin is. So these are the Roma tomatoes. Large cherry type, um, large cherry tomatoes, these are the round variety. Some are round and some are grape shaped, um, but I got these at a pizza joint where they had a salad bar. And I said, you know what, I'm just going to take a couple of them home, save the seeds, and see what happens. So there's an idea where, where to get some different seeds. We've got some uh, yellow bell peppers. Orange. I got these from the neighbor up the street. She had some growing in a pot in front of her house, and uh, she, uh, she gave them to me. And I'm going to assume uh, that they're not heirloom, nor are they organic, but this was one of the very first seeds that I saved so I'll, uh, I'll grow them and see how they do this is a pepper little uh, or light green almost white mild uh, and long and thin um, that's nothing more I have to say about that one oh uh, let's see what else we got tomatillos got these at Walmart and hey you know what here's a uh, I bought several. Now these are organic tomatillos, and there is uh, there's a tomatillo plant right there. Actually, there's two of them growing in there, and I have uh, I've got two of these growing. If you do plant tomatillos, you'll want to grow two of them, and let let it be known that they get six to eight feet tall and really bushy. So uh, give them plenty of room to grow, and make sure you plant two. They cannot pollinate themselves, and they need, you know, they need to be in close proximity as well. Okay, <clears throat> uh, pumpkin from Food Lion. This is just a pumpkin that we had got, like jack o' lantern type pumpkin. Uh, save the seeds so that I can grow uh, some pumpkins next year for Halloween. And I love roasting the seeds. So, okay, red chili pepper. So there's some more peppers. Some sugar snap peas. Cascadia. C A S C A D I A. Fairy Morris, 2012. There's enough to plant some, some of those. And there's a pea laying loose in there all by itself. And <coughs> that one's un unlabeled. I don't know what that is. Okay. So I don't get them all mixed up. I'm going to put them all back in the container. I'll do it later. Let's go on to the next one. Okay. Oh, I was just curious. Um, I think I got this at like a uh, um, pizza joint. What is it? Uh, Pete, uh, Little Caesars. And uh, some crushed red pepper. I wanted to see if these were viable or not. Now, just curiosity, so I saved one. Let's go ahead and go through this one and see what's in here. 
acorn squash. These are organic, and I got them from Kroger store. This is one acorn squash. If you know what an acorn squash looks like, it's only about that big, but look how many seeds are in that package. And along with that is uh, butternut squash. I bought both of these at the same time at the same store, and I brought them home and made a nice soup out of them. Um, and save the seeds and I bought them just because they were organic and I didn't have any winter type squash so now I now I do and also to add to that I have an organic spaghetti squash so now I've got three squash varieties I also have a gourd uh, a gourd seed pack on its way that I won uh, from uh, sh mm, I can't remember the channel name sorry um, but that's on its way as well and if the, uh, if the uh, supplier of the gourd seed happened to see this video, go ahead and make a comment down below and uh, leave, your, leave your channel name there. Sorry about that. Popcorn. My curiosity's got the better of me, so I got some popcorn and I pulled it out of an Orville Redenbacher thing that I bought at the store. I wanted to see if those seeds were viable. Check this out. There it is, Orville Redenbacher popcorn growing. <clears throat> Germination rate wasn't as good as some of the other, but it is a viable seed. So if you're curious, there you go. Uh, small oranges from Walmart. Obviously, fruit trees, uh, whether you know or not, I'll tell you, is that uh, fruit trees, um, if you plant a seed from a fruit tree, you probably are not going to get the parent tree. There's been so many grafting and propagating going on. The best way to get your fruit tree is to um, is to graft or propagate from existing tree. And basically, you're cloning the tree. And I have some um, some pear tree stems up here being propagated right now, and they'll be ready for planting this spring. Um, Tomatillos, some more tomatillos, and those are organic. I got them at Walmart. Okay, now we're back into the, uh, this is the uh, kidney bean red, and I uh, got them this year. And these are all out, this is out of that 15 bean soup. Um, we got red beans, garbanzo beans. Um, we got uh, baby lima beans, or some people call them butter beans. And we have little red kidney beans. And look at, I just got a lot of them. And these are, uh, this is kind of a new one for me. Yeah, i never even seen it until I started to look closer, but it's a cranberry bean. Kind of like a pinto bean looking, but the uh, stripes and markings are red versus brown. Um, red, this is a red bean. And this is uh, lentils. Pinto beans, pink beans, uh, lima beans, those are the big lima beans, and uh, and these are uh, dark uh, bean or uh, uh, black beans, they might also be called black turtle beans, but those are black beans, and I've got one loose uh, uh, kidney bean down the bottom. Also, I have some uh, some field corn here, and I have some more field corn. But this field corn, actually, I'm just going to pull this out for a minute. Here's the whole pile of uh, all the beans that I just showed you: the pinto beans, the lima beans, the kidney beans, and all of those beans. Oops, what do we got here? Uh, are all basically planted right here in this section. Uh, this being the, the biggest of them so far. This is the big lima bean. But uh, you can see that uh, they all grow. Now, I, I wish I had, uh, I wish I knew what each variety was. But uh, the problem with this, this actually looks like a, like a pole bean. But I don't see, don't see that it's really got any grabbers on it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I did a video while I was doing the beans. And what I was going to do was go back later and then watch the video and uh, map it out on a piece of paper. But I didn't do that. 
and the video or the video uh, didn't turn out. So now I don't know what any of the varieties are. The only reason I know what this was is because I could I knew what the the, the pot or the seed looked like. <clears throat> Here's one that didn't grow. Still green, but uh, it's just not growing. Um, so that one's that one didn't take. But so we got germination on on a lot of those uh, on a lot of those uh, plants. Uh, we got some peas and some other things in here. There's some watermelon. This is uh, this is the I don't know if this is the organic or excuse me the uh, watermelon I got from uh, the store or, or if it's from uh, Freeman the heirloom variety. But uh, so this is the field corn right here. This is the field corn that I've got, and there it is. The field corn right here is this corn, so that's viable. All right, put that back. Okay, this is the tray I originally started everything in, okay? Everything that's missing here is now in there. And we also have in here tomatoes and peppers, and I'm not sure what this is, just because I don't know. And we got more uh, peppers, lots and lots of peppers. So all those peppers that I showed you a little while ago, they're all in here and they're all growing along with a lot of those tomatoes. So we got tomatoes and, and we could have cherry tomatoes, we could have the Walmart tomatoes, we could have the beefsteak tomatoes. I'm not exactly sure. And these are uh, some of the <coughs> the, 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 the cantaloupe. Um, and uh, let's see. I, uh, it dried up one day so a couple things died on me. But uh, here's, a, here's a good example of, of uh, what's going on. <coughs> See how some of the leaves are yellowed, okay? It's, uh, it's low in nitrogen, like I said, but it's high. This is strictly um, wood mulch uh, screened off. And you can see that it's high in, in fungal property, and high in fungi, because look, there's mushroom growing. There's a mushroom growing there, and there's been several. They'll grow up and die off. But... Uh, this is high in, in, in fungi, so if you want to check out uh, some of my past videos on on the wood mulch and where I got it and how to get it and how to use it, <clears throat> go ahead and check those out. But uh, um, there's another one popping up right there. I don't know what, I wish I knew what this was. I might just keep growing them uh, to see. Okay, and then I'll add some water to that in a minute. I've got another tray back here, but uh, I haven't got to those seeds yet, so we'll, uh, we'll look at that in a minute. All right, let's see what's in the next container. Okay, this is just some uh, this is just some stakes to write on and uh, for for plant for seeding um, for the seedlings and some scissors and some other stuff. But uh, uh, black peppercorn seeds. I wanna. I wanna I, I gave them a shot, but I don't know if they popped up. But I'm going to give these another shot and see if these are viable or not. Just bought them in a big thing at the store. And uh, this would go right in your pepper milk. Grind it up. Um, I also use these for, for starting my uh, uh, my fireworks stars. So I got a video on that as well. And they work great because they're very textured and will pick up the the uh, the powder, the black powder, as you're rolling it in the star roller. Uh, so I have videos on all that if you want to check that out. So I want to see if those are viable or not. <clears throat> what else we got in here? Okay, here's some seeds that I uh, picked up from uh, from the neighbor. Uh, and these are pumpkin seeds and cucumber, just your regular uh, burpee, fairy morris, uh, and there might be, um, there might be, let's see if there's any other brands in here. But, uh, just your, you know, basil and, and some tomatoes. So you got some, your basic seeds, okay? There's a whole pile of that. Now, I checked the viability of those by planting them in here. Now, if the, if the seed packets were open, I tried them out. If they were still sealed, I did not. So I figured that would give me a good enough test. And everything that I planted grew except for one. Um, and we have watermelon, and that was the one and only watermelon seed. Uh, we've got, and I can tell that this is a tomato because it's got a purple stem and it's fuzzy. So we got some tomatoes. Oh, you know what? I did map this one. You don't care what they are. But anyway, I got some peppers, 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 tomatoes, tomatoes. Uh, this row was all basil 
and we have uh, chives and some green onions. So everything grew, and this this all these seeds here are uh, are a couple years old. Let me see if it has it says packed for 2012. So these were grown in 2011. So these would have to be the oldest seeds, and you can see they still grew. All right. <clears throat> See what else we got. I've got some old, some cherry pits. Uh, again, you know these these were collected and saved from a long time ago. Um, not putting a whole lot of faith in those, but um, you know I don't know what these are, but uh, somebody saved them. <clears throat> and it wasn't me. I don't know. I can't even remember where I got these at. Uh, there's a peach pit I saved. That's from Walmart. I did save that one. And there's some other peach pits. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. All right. I got a lot of seeds. In there. Okay. This is uh, this is from stock that I had purchased, um, packaged for 2012. So these are 2011 purchased, and. Uh, I've got peas, cantaloupe, cucumbers, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, what's it say? Uh, large red cherry tomatoes. And so this would be kind of like the variety that I picked up from the pizza joint at the um, salad bar, probably. Pumpkins and turnips. Turnips are awesome because they'll grow hard. You can eat the greens and you can store them in the ground in the winter. They'll, you can go out there and the ground's frozen and pull them things up. Okay. Reese's Pieces. If you plant your Reese's Pieces early enough, you can get a big yield out of them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, got field corn. <clears throat> Oops, that one's a little ripped open. Um, so this is field corn, and this is the same field corn I showed you earlier, and you see the plant growing, and uh, so I've got that much field corn, <clears throat> and I mainly wanted it because it was it was there, and this this corn can be used to grind into meal. Uh, it can be grown to feed your chickens. It can be bio mass the corn stalks when you're done can be biomass you can burn them grind them up use them as nitrogen for next year <clears throat> okay uh, this seed uh, this seed has got a little bit of a funny story to it uh, I wanted to I wanted some grains and uh, went to a thrift store and I happened they had this box and just nothing in it uh, except for junk and I and I looked down on the bottom and I seen some I thought was wheat uh, heads, you know, the, the tops of the grain heads. And I was like, and I started digging in there, and it was some sort of decoration, Some, and it was like the light just fell down in there and broke all apart. And so uh, so I scraped all them up, and, and I got these for, for just a couple pennies. And uh, I got, I don't know how many I have here. I could probably weigh them. I got a little small scale over there, but um, I bet you there's... I bet you there's a thousand seeds there, so this will be enough to uh, at least keep the seed going. So I'm going to try these and see how well they germinate and uh, and, and replant. I hope that works because that's a nice little thing that wheat. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Um, fat-free croutons. What I have inside of here is uh, is is flax seed. Probably two pounds of flaxseed. There's two packages in there. I've got them sealed inside of another Ziploc bag. Flaxseed uh, is is an awesome, awesome uh, seed to have around. Uh, you, can, you can grow it out in the field. You can grow it as a microgreen. You can sprinkle the seeds right on the salad, which is what I was doing. Uh, so I, uh, I, I tested the viability. Well, actually, the viability showed itself to me. Uh, one day when I, was, uh, I, I sprinkled it on my salad and, and spilled some on the counter, I wiped it up with the sponge and, and set the sponge up there. 
um, and and they're kind of the seeds are kind of sticky. I don't know if they if they're sticky or they have hairs or whatever, but they kind of hang on to whatever they're touching. I came back the next day, and the the sponge from being wet actually germinated uh, the flaxseed in one day, uh, just overnight, 24 hour period. So I was like, wow, that kind of gave me an idea about uh, about the viability of those seeds and and trying to plant them. So uh, now I got flaxseed. I'm going to plant that. Um, just another thing I bought, I have a tri-bean, it's just, uh, these are, um, kidney bean, uh, and I think uh, it's a cranberry bean. Yes, it is a great northern bean, kidney, and cranberry beans. So, this was a, just something I picked up at the store, because I've seen it there. I said, hey, there's some more seeds. <coughs> kind of went seed crazy there for a little bit. Um, wanted to make sure I had seeds. So every seed I've seen somewhere, I picked it up. Here's another pile of uh, red beans. And these are some type of bean. These are a Rosa brand. Oh, these are light red kidney beans. Again, they are viable seeds. So if you wondered about all them seeds at the grocery store, yes, they are viable seeds. There's some more flax seed. Here's some popcorn. This is a <coughs> Prime Time, just an off-brand product of the USA. Um, popping corn. I've got some more, what are these? These are uh, navy beans. Kidney beans. Uh, butter beans or small lima beans. These are pink beans.